guys, what's up? Your boy Paul Picasso here. What's going on, everybody? Today I'm doing an app review, and this app does require root access. As you see down at the bottom there, I got my nav buttons on. I usually use expanded desktop mode, and I use Pi controls. So, of course, you know, if you guys watch some of my um, uh, tutorial videos, app videos, app reviews, that sort of stuff, if you ever notice that, you know, I just don't like stock things, as you can see here, I'm running, you know, a different type of theme I put together right here. Um, so, you know, I'm not a big fan of stock. Stock is good and all that stuff, but I like to add, uh, 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 you know, um, um, my own creative kind of look on things. So today we're talking about the nav the navigation uh, bar or the navigation buttons. Okay, so for this app to work, it does require root access, so you have to be rooted. If you're not rooted, um, this video is not for you. Okay, and um, everything can be rooted as far as I know. So we're going to jump right into it. Uh, the app is, again, you do need root access on your device. Um, sorry if you guys can't see the red uh, uh, font there, but uh, the app is called... Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Why am I all the way down there? The app is called Soft Keys. So that's S O F T K E Y Z. So Soft Keys. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into Soft Keys so you guys can see exactly what it's about. Again, you do need root access to use this. There's a lot of different ways to change your nav buttons and all that stuff, but uh, the one with the, you know, the most uh, 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 easy, you know, most reliable. It's updated regularly. There's a wide variety of things to add. Um, SoftKeys is the best app for that, in my opinion. So this is the basic interface of SoftKeys. Um, it shows you what you're currently running at the top. You have a save button, a check mark, which uh, enables whatever you decide, and the X to get rid of it. And then you also have the highlight or the glow when you tap on the button. So right on the bat, it says here, tap to replace hold for more options I actually did not notice hold for more options I'm gonna hold it so you can delete you can use the button as specific buttons if you like okay so that's pretty cool I didn't notice that before so I just learned something there with you guys so right here we have some of the the highlight colors okay and then down when we get a little lower you have some uh, colorful nav buttons that you can change keep going a little lower then you have some more uh, one of my favorites is the Facebook or the uh, Facebook home buttons nav buttons which are right there you have a lot of variety you have text you have different fonts go down you start getting to some different icons um, da -da 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 -da. we have some cool ones here I've actually used this one right here before I like that and um, again, you have a different variety. You have you can change single for the down. You can change the home button. So if I go and hit that PlayStation one, I think that replaces the home button. So you see at the top here that it has changed. Uh, we can hit down, and that will change the down over there. Um, yeah, so you can just mess around if you want to have like everything kind of mixed up. You can do that, or you can go for like a complete theme. And then the glows. Now the glow when I touch it. It will be red okay um, and then you can save you can have some some presets saved so these are what I've already saved so if you want to change just boom go in tap that and it's gonna go up there and then you press check mark and it's gonna uh, just go on it now it does reboot your phone once you hit the check mark and it loads up that nav bar so let's just go on right now and it has been updated so it was updated actually a little bit this morning so here we go we have dark nav button we already have the HTC one M8 pack you know that was kindly added there so we have that with the grayish glow um, there's Nexus Home. There's a lot of, a lot, a lot to choose from. I'm just going to go for something a bit uh, kind of out there. I like Circle Targets. You might do Circle Targets, but let's kind of look. Like I said, there's a long variety. You have the LG G2 Blue and White Pack. Uh, we got a cassette pack that's really kind of cool if you have like a music theme thing going on um, Technically, I should kind of you know what let's continue looking at the um, Celine's tiger theme baseball theme Andy the Android theme 
um, a lot. Mera Saga, I like that. It's very cool. I've used it already. I have dice. So there's just a lot to choose from. So let's just go in and let's just choose so you guys can see. And I'm going to go with the cassette. So what you're going to do, and it tells you how much downloads it's been. So this has had 665 downloads. So I'm going to go ahead. It's downloading right now from the server. It only takes a few seconds, not long at all. So we'll just let that go ahead and do and there you go now here's a glow i've already added the glow and i think the glow i'm not sure where did i get that glow from was it here uh yeah the glow i choose is the razor hd glow so that's already on there the same thing you would do that it would download from the server i already have it so it's not going to take long at all which it doesn't take long and then what i'm going to do is hit that little uh floppy disk save icon and it's going to be here somewhere here it is we just hit that arrow pointing back it's there now we're going to go ahead and hit the check mark and once you hit the check mark soft keys is working on the data device will restart this is why you do need root access to um, have this apply so this is going to go ahead it's going to load up um, you're going to see a little thing if you don't know that, uh, yeah, I'm running the great Omni-ROM. I also have Multi-ROM installed, so you're going to see a red dialog box come up soon. Um, it's not going to take much time, or it shouldn't take much time. Um, you know, it just, uh, it's doing its thing. It's restarting. So we're going to let that restart, and we'll be right back. Okay, and there you see it has been restarted. Let's zoom down, and if you take a look there you see that it has changed now that's pretty cool i actually like that i might keep it because um the setup right now on my device is kind of like a um a media type setup if you notice well we're going to wait till these super widgets load up uh so you can see exactly what i mean uh, if you notice from the beginning of the video, then uh, you would have kind of seen that. So there you have it. We have the back button, the home button, which is actually a stop button. And as you see, you see that glow. You see that glow. That's the H. Uh, sorry, that's the Razer HD glow right there. Okay, recent is now that pause button. Okay, and we jump into recents, and uh, there's nothing there. And uh, for my recents, I'm actually using Omni Switch as my recents uh, my recent tab so I'm not using the default Android recent tab it's Omni switch which comes with Omni ROM which is very cool I actually prefer it over the um, I prefer Omni switch over the default Android uh, recents tab it's very cool um, I like it a lot anyways guys that is a quick look at uh, soft keys the easiest way that I've seen literally it's very easy to change your nav buttons your navigation bar the navigation buttons I'm gonna go ahead and turn back on expanded desktop and we will still see them they are there but I have a transparent background and a transparent uh, over touch uh, whatever you call that thing so there you have it guys so it is there that looks very cool easiest way to switch your navigation bars soft keys it is free in the play store again your phone or device has to be rooted I do have it on my tablet as well and it works for for either because I mean again it's my Kindle Fire HD 7 inch I uh, converted it into a, a Android tablet running CyanogenMod Mod 11 so that's it guys soft keys quick review quick look so if you're tired of stock nav bars check it out again free in the play store go ahead and check it out guys if you like the video leave a thumbs up don't forget to check out my second channel where all of the musical goodness and a little bit of you know some other stuff is over there as well guys uh, don't be afraid to go over there check it out give those videos a thumbs up subscribe to that channel as well okay guys we're Paul Picasso Picasso Entertainment signing out see you in the next one peace